Hello, everybody. This is Steve with Multisport Mojo. Today, we're talking about cycling jerseys and, uh, and the difference between the pockets in cycling jerseys. Now, you may say, that's a, that's a nuance. That's something that's not important. Au contraire. That is major, major important when you're looking at cycling jerseys or what to wear when you're out on a ride, either for a training ride or on race day. Uh, pockets and storage are, are a big, 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 let me emphasize, big deal when you're on the ride. Why? Well, it's, it's what you bring with you. On race day, there, uh, there will be uh, on-course nutrition. There may be on-course bike support. It may, it's probably not going to be right where you are when you get a flat, if you get a flat. Uh, on-course nutrition may be the stuff that you like and train with. It may not be the stuff that you like and train with. Um, uh, all of those reasons predicate uh, storage on you uh, when you're on the ride. And so, so let's just take a quick look at that. Okay, this is a typical cycling jersey. And here's the back, and there are, right, three great back pockets. And, and this is a jersey that you would wear all the time. I'm just gonna stick a phone in there just to show you, right? Zoop, disappears. It's totally out of the way. I can throw, um, I can throw a, right? You would typically throw a tube. It's easy to go, boom, and it disappears. You've got all kinds of storage room with these three pockets in a cycling jersey. Um, not so when you do a triathlon. Uh, triathlon kits or tri-kits are not meant to have uh, all of the room that a uh, cycling jersey has. Um, let's just take another quick look at another cycling jersey option. This is a, this is a great look jersey that I've got. And I'm gonna just come up and this has even got the option. It's got the three pockets, you know, uh, one, two, three pockets, and it's got a zipper pocket, right? So I'm totally secure if I've got if I've got a phone or if I've got money or something that, uh, that I want to keep absolutely locked in, stuff's not going anywhere with this. Now, how is that different? You know, I, if you look at a cycling jersey versus a tri-kit, yep, a tri-kit has pockets for sure. Um, uh, you can either get them sleeved or not sleeved. Uh, the material's a little different because you're wearing it all day long. It's going to be a little lighter. It's going to be um, definitely more form-fitting than a cycling jersey. And because it's about being light and aerodynamic and efficient, you're not going to have three big pockets. You're probably going to have either two pockets that are on your sides right here and, and a little um, uh, less roomy. Less roomy, can you say that? Or you're going to have one pocket right in the middle. This has uh, two pockets. And each pocket, I'm gonna, just gonna, I've got, a, I've got a bar and a gel in there, and you can see that there's not a whole lot of room. There's not a whole lot of room. Here's the bottom of the jersey, and there's not a whole ton of room. I could, I could fit four gels, uh, take one every 30, 45 minutes, and be good for the run portion uh, of a, you know, 70.3 or full Ironman. Uh, and then supplement that with maybe some on-course nutrition so I don't have to take everything. But I certainly, if I'm looking at the ride portion, I'm not going to have, you know, I'm not going to have the three big pockets and the zipper pocket, and I'm not. And you can even see, I mean, you can see the difference. I mean, this is this is a lot bulkier. You, you don't want to be the option to wear this on a triathlon or race day is uh, not the most efficient choice just because you'd have to change in, change out of clothes. Uh, you come into T1, you're going to have to change into this. You get into T2, you're going to have to change out of this. Try kit, you stay in this all day long. But the pockets are different. Uh, so uh, just make sure that uh, you understand that and you plan for it. And uh, whether it's in training or on race day, if you're, if you're training for a half Ironman or a full Ironman triathlon, you're going to want to um, you're going to want to train or at least do uh, some, if not a lot of training rides with your uh, tri suit on, either one piece, two piece, uh, no sleeve, half sleeve, doesn't, doesn't matter. But what you want to get used to is the pockets and the storage that you have. Uh, just get used to that so that there are no surprises on race day. This is Steve with Multisport Mojo. I hope this helps as you're deciding between 
uh, bike kit and tri kit and pockets and storage and the difference between both. Uh, you can find uh, uh, this along with a lot of other videos that we do on how to's and insights and what to do's and what not to do's and gear reviews, nutrition, all that stuff here on our YouTube channel at Multisport Mojo. Follow us here so you get all the up to date videos as they come out. We'll keep you and we'll keep you up to speed. As well, we have four websites. If you want to do a deeper dive into specific gear or guides or how to's. Uh, as we try and map everything out for you. We, we want you to be successful and to leapfrog uh, some of the mystery or, or learning curve that you'll have when you get into multi-sports. So go to trygearguru.com. We know that's backwards, but trygearguru.com for everything triathlon. Swimgearguru.com for swimming. Ridegearguru.com for all the cycling. And rungearguru.com for all your running questions, needs, gear. Uh, we do deep dives and all that stuff. We've got links at the best prices, either with Amazon or our virtual store at its swimoutlet.com backslash Multisport Mojo. This is Steve with Multisport Mojo, and we'll see you next time. Try get cycling, wearing on training, mm, race day, try training.